Hi boys, I'm here to do a video on rounding and estimating, okay? This is a skill that you'll use in lots and lots of different areas in maths. It doesn't have to be addition or subtraction for you to use this skill. The reason why it's so important and so excellent is that it can really tell you very quickly if you've, ending, if you've made a mistake in something. So if you are not what I call in the ballpark of what your estimation is, when you do a sum, you know that you have to take a little bit of extra time and go out, go back and work out what you've done wrong. Okay, so this is something that you can do mentally. Okay, as you're doing subtraction or addition or anything else, but you can also do it by doing some working on paper as well, um, which I always encourage. So say you've got um, an addition sum like 432 um, plus 28. Now some of you might find that really easy straight away. Okay. I've just realized that I've put that like as a as a neat 10 figure. Let's say if I change that to that, that's not quite as easy to get straight away for lots of boys. So what you could do in your head or on paper is to round that to the nearest 10. Okay, so this is a number that's in the tens, but this is a number that's in the hundreds. Okay, so you would round that to 430. Okay, 28 would be rounded to 30 as well. Now, the reason why you would round that to 430 is the golden rule of if it's 5 and above, then you're going to round up. If it's below 5, then you round down. That's why I rounded the 434 down to 430. Okay. Now, the trick with rounding is that you actually have to look at the next place value down to work out what to do. So this is a little bit of a side um, lesson here. But say if I've got um, 28 and I've actually asked you to round it to the nearest 10, okay, I'm looking at this too as the 10s in the place value, but what I need to do is to look at my 8 to work out what I'm going to do to my 10s, okay? So because it is an 8, it's 5 or above, I'm going to round it up to 30, okay? Say if I had um, 42, for example, and I've, asked, I've been asked to round it to the nearest 10, then I'm looking at the 4 as the 10s place, but I need to check the 2s column, the 1s column, sorry, to work out what to do. Okay, so because it is um, below 5, that being 2, then I round it down to 40. Okay, I don't round it down to 30 because that's not the nearest 10. 40 is my nearest 10. Okay, so back to my question. Here I've got 434 plus 28. I've rounded it here, so quickly in my head, I know that my answer should be close to 460. Okay, let's work that out. And see how close it actually is, okay? So 8 and 4 is 12, I put my 2 down and carry my 1, okay? 1 and 3 is 4, 5, 6. Alright, so really close. If, for example, I rounded it to 460 correctly, and then my answer was like, I don't know, 562. I know, well, that's not really that close, so I might have made an error back here. Okay, I'm going to put an example on the board in a second and get you to have a go by yourself. So pause the video, and then I'll show you the answer. Okay, so here's my question. Um, I'm going to ask you to round that to the nearest 100 and estimate your answer, okay? So pause the video here and have a go at that. Okay, hopefully you've had a turn at that. Remember, I've asked you to round that to the nearest hundreds. So I need to look at my next column, my tens column, to work out what to do with my hundreds. So your estimation should look like this, 900, because this is a 2, so I've rounded it to the nearest 100, which is 900. And then this actually becomes 400 because this is above 5, so I would round it up to the nearest 100 being 400, okay? And then my estimate, okay, so 0, 0, 9 and 4 is 13, should be 1300, okay? Let's see how close it actually is when I do the sum. So 1 and 8 is 9, 2 and 7 is 9, okay, and 9 and 3 is 12. So, super close. I didn't even plan that, I promise. Okay, so last question for you to try. 
is 1,439 plus 291. And this time again, I want you to round it to the nearest 100 and then estimate your answer. All right, so nearest 100. Yes, I'm looking at the hundreds column, but I actually need to look down to the tens to work out what to do. So because this is the tens column, this is this is a three, it's below five, so I'm going to round it to the nearest hundred, which makes it 1400. Okay, and here I look at my tens column again to see what to do. And because it's nine above five, I round it up to the nearest hundred, which is 300. Of course, taking care with your setting out that everything is in line from the right hand side. Okay, so we've got 0, 0, um, 7, and 1, so 1700. Let's see if we can get close with the actual sum. All right, imagine if I got the exact answer. No, I'm not going to today. Um, it's pushing. And we've got 1 and 4 is 5 and 7 and 1. Okay, so pretty close. And I think um, within about 50 with this size um, number is fairly reasonable. Sorry guys, I just realised you can't see down here because my board is too big. So that answer should be 1700.